Well, the Trump administration issuing new threats against cities that are refusing to enforce immigration laws. Just hours before, President Trump was set to sit down with dozens of city mayors. In response, those mayors boycotting that meeting, while well, President Trump blasting their political stunt. As you know, the Department of Justice today has announced a critical legal step to hold accountable sanctuary cities. And the mayors who choose to boycott this event have put the needs of criminal illegal immigrants over law-abiding Americans. So who exactly do these mayors represent? Here now to weigh in is radio talk show host Gina Loudon. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Good to be with you. So let's start with that question, because that's what I was asking myself yesterday when I heard repeatedly about these mayors, one after another, saying, well, we're going to boycott the meeting altogether. Who exactly are they representing, their constituents or just a certain specific um, chosen element of their constituents? Well, it's obviously a very narrow, very highly politicized segment of their own mind, really, because if you think about it, this is really what this president was elected primarily to do. President Trump ran on the issue of securing our borders, right? And so if these mayors are going to go against what many of their own constituents voted on, and not only that, let's remember, we're talking about an infrastructure meeting here. If mayors aren't supposed to provide uh, security to their citizens and infrastructure to their citizens, I'm not sure what their purpose is. Yeah, exactly. Um, and let's listen to what Mayor Bill de Blasio from New York City had to say on boycotting the meeting yesterday. Here's his excuse. The very day of justice now threatening to subpoena nearly two dozen cities if they don't hand over information on their sanctuary policies. Some Democratic mayors they didn't like that, so they decided to boycott a meeting on infrastructure with the president at the White House. And the mayors who choose to boycott this event have put the needs of criminal illegal immigrants over law-abiding Americans. So was this just another political stunt from the Democrats in another attempt to resist the president? Right now, here is a mayor who was at the meeting. He's from McKinney, Texas, Mayor George Fuller. Mayor, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Uh, doing great. Uh, why, it was on infrastructure and on opioids. And what did you hear yesterday that was so important to you? You know, we, uh, we had an opportunity to meet with the president, uh, talk with um, staff from Intergovernmental Affairs uh, on infrastructure. Um, opioids was, was a bit of a discussion, but, but really it was an opportunity for us to air our our grievances and and, uh, and just talk about mm -hmm. you know future plans of um, uh, with the trillion dollars coming for infrastructure in this country and how our cities could uh, could benefit so it was it was a meeting well worth having great mayor you know, there were a lot of democrat democratic mayors that did show up bill de blasio the mayor of new york city decided to skip the meeting here's a sound bite from him and then we'll get your reaction I yep. came down here ready to have a serious meeting and what I got was a publicity stunt from the Trump administration. If there had not been this obviously premeditated attack on these cities, I would have gone to the meeting. President says mayors like that are putting the needs of illegals ahead of law abiding Americans. What are your thoughts? You know, I, uh, boy, that's, um, that's a tough one. I do believe that we are a country of laws and, uh, and so certainly we need to abide by them. And we have, we have ways in this country to change those laws when we don't agree with them. So, um, you know, my city uh, is a, uh, a city where we're not, we're, we're fortunately not having to deal with, with uh, those items. We are a, uh, we're a city with a uh, law enforcement department that works mm -hmm. uh, closely and has and will continue to work closely with local, federal, state officials. So uh, 